my name is Erica Blanton. I teach third grade at Welford Academy and this is my fifth year teaching. I love to do more hands-on things. Um, this group of kids has lots of energy, lots of boys who just love to have their hands on things and the girls too and so if I can find lessons where they can touch and move and um, talk with their friends, I find that that helps them learn the best. Each morning I remember that my students are coming whether they're ready to be here or not but they need someone here to be that light for them at school. With this project, Jaden? I believe that students are learners, but they can also be teachers. So I love to have lots of discussion in my classroom so that my kids can talk to one another and teach um, each other what they're learning, but also help each other discover things. I know that the most important thing is teaching my kids so that they can be better humans, they can learn more knowledge, and um, hopefully make a big, bigger difference in their world. So you guys have heard me talk about psychosomatic symptoms before? My name is Heather Poirier and I teach at Burns High School. I teach psychology, advanced placement psychology, and leadership Burns. I majored in secondary education with a concentration in psychology and sociology because that would help me be a high school guidance counselor. And then I got in the classroom and I loved it. I love my students. I love to build relationships with my students, having positive relationships with them, trying to be a, a mentor to them, a positive role model. Is there a possible way to get two days? I get to teach a class called Leadership Burns. Our motto is uh, Leaders Leaving Legacies. So we want to keep building on this program. We have school and community service hours that are required. The students complete a passion project. Wow. All right, tell us about your collage. What did you choose to put there and why? I feel like being a lifelong learner is extremely important in all aspects of life, especially in teaching, but I want to also be able to instill that in my students. No matter what, what subject or field that they go into, I want them to have that desire to grow and to challenge themselves and to be better. What's at the end of that word? I-N-G. I'm Leah Owens and I teach first grade at Reedville Elementary School. When I was a little girl, I played school just about every weekend and my mom actually she taught K4 and that's what really inspired me. See on the page that you know. As I got older it became the desire to really help spark an interest and a love for reading for students because that's my passion is letting students um, find their passion for reading and find that confidence because that's what really carries them throughout their education is their, their ability to read. Very good. I love how you figured out this big word. And they're just at an age where they love you and they love one another and they're just excited and there's a little bit of a clean slate with them where you really get to build a foundation for them. You know, I'm not, I'm not the best teacher there is in the school or even the district, but Teacher of the Year means to me someone who really takes the time to invest in their students every day. Excellent. Those two fractions are? My name is Heather Cassidy, and I teach fourth grade at Lyman Elementary School. I truly believe it's a calling from the Lord. Um, that's all I've ever wanted to do in life. Um, I can remember when I was in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, I had my own little school room behind my house. Um, you don't have to erase one night. I never considered another career. Um, I love the joy that it brings every single day. Um, every day is different. Every day um, you feel love from the students. Um, even when they get upset with you, um, give them about 10, 15 minutes and you get the biggest hug ever. Yes, Emmy? Um, 2006. Um, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, I went through treatments and I still worked because of COVID, even though it was very unfortunate, but I was provided the opportunity to teach virtually from my house, which was a safe um, place for me. The great thing is I became a family member to 36 families. I mean, I, you know, I became part of their home. Uh, they invited me in every single day to teach. Okay, so this is one third. Um, I want them to know that I love them with everything that I have inside of me. I want them to know that I am proud of them, um, of everything they accomplished in fourth grade. To highlight seismometer. I'll... I'm Gina Manouk and I teach seventh grade ELA at DR Hill Middle School. And I've heard somewhere that you never work a day in your life if you love your job. And so I just, I love coming to work and it just feels, every, every year is new and you have new adventures and new things to discover about teaching and about your students. You must be just like a farmer. I love middle school. They're not too big to, 
you know, come and give you a hug or um, say they need help, you know, or, you know, I, I just love the age group. What about a journey undertaken by a group of people? The good days outweigh the hard days. And the good days are when the kids come up to you and say, Miss Manouk, thank you for showing me this book because I used to hate reading and now I don't. Um, or Miss Manouk, I finally finished writing this story. Would you read it and tell me what you think? Set the timer for five minutes. I'm Jenny Morrissey and I teach third grade at Abner Creek Academy. School was always my thing. Um, I did not like snow days. I did not like to stay home. I did not like to be sick. I wanted to be in the classroom. I always, and I always enjoyed learning and I wanted to be with my friends. So it just was a natural fit. I know I put it off for a really long time, <laughs> but it definitely is where I am supposed to be. What did you observe? And I just like to see them grow. Whether, wherever we are, we're gonna finish somewhere higher than where we started. They always tell them, when you leave this classroom, what I want you to tell anybody who asks you, Mrs. Morrissey is my favorite teacher. <laughs> or set up or anything. So I hope they remember, it might be a little challenging, but to think outside of the box, to see different ways to do things. About him so far. My name is Melissa Brandon, and I teach special education at Beach Springs Intermediate School. Every child, um, needs an opportunity, they need that chance, um, and once you give them that chance, th the doors are so open for them. They just need to know that we do care for them, we love them, um, and it's not all about the disability, it's about what you can do. They feel like it's easier for me to make a connection with them, and once you make that connection, they actually feel like you care about them. So what I do is I try to find out where they're at, and try to push them as far as I can. Um, because not only do we want to grow them academically, we also want to grow them socially and with their behavior. Because a lot of the times I'm the only one that is there for them. I am their only constant. Um, you know, and, uh, and it's funny because a lot of times they call me mom. They can't come, they're like, mom, and I'm like, and they're like, Miss Brandon. Um, but you know, you feel a role um, for students and I'm whatever role it is that they need me to be. There's my apostrophe S. My name is Whitney French and I teach special education resource at Lyman Elementary. I wanted to be a pediatrician to start with, so I mean I have a love, a passion for working with children. Um, and in the medical field that wasn't what I was called to do, but working with kids in a classroom, I mean they're my kids. That's what I do. Do you shop? Yep. Most of my students um, are what we call resource. Um, all of them have they have every opportunity to graduate from high school, um, either with a diploma or a credential. Um, they just need that little extra support, and that was that was really my passion. Do you remember seeing that? Yeah. And that's what I love about what I do now. Most of my kids here, especially my fourth graders, some of them I've had since kindergarten. You know, so I've I've really gotten that. I've I've had that chance to create that bond with them. I can think of some of my students didn't know their letters or numbers and here we are in fourth grade and they're reading on a, you know, a much higher level, completing math computation. It's like, wow, I can remember when we were just practicing to count to ten. That's the whole reason I do this, to see them, to see them grow. Good. Are you right? Good for you. Okay. Awesome. My name is Ashley Martin and I teach first grade at Duncan Elementary. This is my eighth year teaching. Every day we come in and you just never know what you're going to hear, what you're going to see. Um, they're so excited to see you at, in first grade. You know, they're still wanting to be in school and um, come see you every day. So just their smiling faces and personalities. Jasper is a cat. First grade, um, it is a huge year of growth for them. They start, they come in as little babies from come from kindergarten and then they grow into, you know, second graders that are independent. Um, they come in, you know, not knowing how to do things to soaring. So it's really, really cool to see how much they grow in first grade. But Teacher of the Year just means so much because it's your peers around you, your colleagues that are seeing, you know, that you're making a difference. I'm Tom Barber. I uh, teach Spanish at Burns. I've been doing that for a long time and, and I thoroughly enjoy it. I was teaching uh, at church one evening, teaching the high school students, and my wife said, 
my wife, who is a music educator, said, you know, you're a natural with the kids. She said, could you see yourself as a teacher? And I said, yeah, I could see that, but what would I teach? Anyway, every now and then they change a the rule. When I started, it was chalk and blackboard, no computer in the room. Uh, I used to write, handwrite my quizzes and take them to the copier. So things have changed a lot. And, and some of this change, I went kicking and screaming into it. When, you know, the schools closed and we went virtual and then, and then I taught in the virtual academy, I felt like, okay, well, District 5 took this guy who didn't want anything to do with this <laughs> and prepared him for this eventuality. The word is Olympiad. If a student asks a question you can't answer, that's just an opportunity for me to learn more about my subject. And I, like, I love my subject. I'm hopeful that they just see a person who really cares about them and that they will see what difference that makes in, in the world, you know, in the way we interact with people. And maybe that helps them to pass it on. Where can you find the specific page? Not sure. My name is Ren Draz and I teach fourth grade at River Ridge Elementary. Fourth grade is very cool. Um, it is definitely my favorite grade to teach because I feel like the kids are at a very unique age where they're still innocent and young enough that they're kids and they want to be kids and playful and creative and imaginative but at the same time they are old enough that um, they understand the world in a much different way. So onto power line. Yeah. What got me into teaching and kind of what keeps me in teaching every day is that I teach for social justice and that's that's a big deal for me and that's um, you know showing up every day for each kid and um, wanting to make an impact on them that betters their life and um, you know helps them out but also helps them impact the world in a better way as well. We are living the outback. The outback is a vast. What I hope the kids take away from me once you know they leave they leave me in my classroom is that uh, they remember the family that we had um, and they remember all of the lessons beyond just the academics, you know, um, how to treat others, how to treat themselves, um, how to take on challenges and want challenges and to be able to figure out how to overcome them. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. My name is Kathleen Scobie and I work at BFA. Uh, and academic support. I always thought to myself the last thing I would want to do is to work with regular kids in a high school. That was pretty intimidating to me, particularly in my 20s. Um, but that's where they put me and I, I loved it. I just loved working with those kids. Two, three, four, five. Really, for me, it's um, just a nice place for them to come and be comfortable and have somebody who has their back and knows how to help them out if they run into any problems. When they reach back, you know, on that senior day where they're allowed to come back through again, and um, the, th the thought that they even remember me later uh, means a whole lot to me. X and the Y is different. I am Brittany Blackwell and um, I teach 7th and 8th grade special education at Florence Chapel Middle School. I really loved kids and making a difference and making an impact and so that's why I became a teacher. Negative three. Middle school is absolutely my favorite um, because they have an opinion but they're not um, too opinionated. <laughs> So last year I taught virtual uh, middle school special education. It was really challenging, but I ended up loving it because I could be super creative. So I would create different ways of communicating with parents, different ways of doing things with the students so that they're interactive. I think that my favorite part about it is recognizing that even with a label, um, they have an able and um, teaching my kids that what they're labeled with does not impact them in the future. What about it? You've got to add a little extra to it. I am Valerie Calsing and I am a literacy coach at Barry Shoals Intermediate School. I think all kids would say that I'm the book lady. I can pair any child up with a, with a book that I, I promise you that they're going to love. You got it. Perfect. I do it because I think that people matter and I have high expectations for most people that I've worked with, including the kids, and 
I like that I can be a part of their life to make it better. I want you to look at your title. My favorite part is still going into the classrooms and teaching and working with the teachers. So we plan together. Um, I come in and I reinforce some concepts or maybe I teach some difficult concepts for students. A lot of times you find at this age kids already um, don't have you know, self-efficacy and they don't feel like they can do it. And so I feel like it's my job to show them that they really, they really can do it. In the snow. Hi, my name is Michelle Black and I am a special education teacher at Florence Chapel Middle School where I teach seventh and eighth graders. I was a classroom assistant in a multi-categorical classroom many, many years ago. And one day the light bulb just went off and I realized that that's what I was put here on this earth to do. So I pursued my certification and 21 years later, here I am. So again, this could be... Everybody can learn something and we just, and with in special ed, the kids just learn in different ways. And so it's, you have to be very creative to find those strategies and interventions that you can use with the students to help them start to feel successful about their learning. Excellent. And there's nothing like when a kid finally gets it and that light bulb goes off and their eyes get bright and then it's like, this is why I do what I do.